Hey everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So I thought uh, today, since we're finally done with the chapel area over here, we would explore in the kind of northern area of this map. This is actually a pretty big map. Actually, it keeps going, doesn't it? Yeah, I have no idea how much there is there, but uh, yeah, we'll keep exploring up here. I wanted to see what was up, this, up, what was up this path over here. With haste. So we can check that out first, I suppose. Someone? You think it's... It's Lysel. Doru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Her face, like, I, I guess it's just Githyanki faces in general, but she has, like, a very scrunch-looking face because of the very, very small upturned nose. Makes her, makes her look, like, very snooty and, um, full of herself, you know? Which doesn't, isn't helped by her very confrontational personality either. I can attack them, or I can persuade them to shoot the trap down, saying that I'll tear it apart before I can hurt anyone else, as in I'm gonna attack her? But then they're going to want me to kill her, and I don't want to do that, really. I mean, I don't like her that much, but I don't want to kill her. Deception. We'll have a minus one roll on this. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Uh, okay, I guess I would do deception. And we'll just have to pray. It's going to be a 50-50. Guidance, please. Oh my god. Just barely. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp at? Oh, we have to roll for this too. Okay, well it's only a five. Easy. Got it. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Can I make her say please? Never. Oh my gosh. My companions approved of me giving her some shit. That's great. Observe and listen. You'll hear Enough goblins Jordan, before you see them. As you say. I was gonna see if I could actually follow them, but I guess she can't. They sort of disappear into thin air over there. They were gonna shoot the trap down, or or I was gonna make them, or going to ask them to. Can I shoot the trap down? There was that thing we shot down previously. I mean, I have to be able to get the angle on it. Oh, weakened base. I see. We shoot that. No, not, not, not laser. The base. There we go. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Man, the cat fighting. Oh my gosh. What exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. You know, a simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. 
Fine, let's go find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. No, I don't think so. I don't really need another warrior. I need all of my current party members as they are, so why don't you go and wait at camp? Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Okay, a Zoru at a, at a camp? A tiefling camp? The one that was mentioned? Oh, this thing is bugged out in midair. Weird. Shadow Heart does not like Lazel. Not at all. I mean, the feeling is mutual, and to be fair, Lazel is kind of a bitch, so I mean, she's a real tough pill to swallow. Not gonna lie about that. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Using my shovel, digging some loot. Yeah. Hyena ear, potion of speed, alchemical reagent. Another trap that's been messed up over here. Are they messed up because they've been sprung by whatever they were intended for, I'd assume? All right, we're obviously supposed to go over here. Let's get a save in and then go and see what's going on over here. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. By the nine hells, open the gates. <coughs> the blade and suffer its sting okay combat time uh i wish you were sneaking maybe i can make you sneak yeah okay what do we have here uh yeah i can sneak attack you he's on the high ground which is not great but we still have an 80 percent chance Nice. There's one taken out. And let's get you into a better position up here. Strong barbarian time. Okay, where are we going here? Uh, I think we just get in the thick of things as fast as we can, which means doing a dash. Heading for the nearest guy. Okay, and that'll be all for this turn for me. We got a buff. Ooh, they're all grouped up right there. Ah! 
Yeah, it's exactly who I wanted to see. Okay, let me um, go to tactical for a second here. Uh, can you get there fast enough to do anything good? Like... Wait, do you not have spell slots? Why do you... I don't know why you don't have stuff memorized, though, because I definitely had stuff in your spell book. We definitely rested and used supplies and stuff, but yet you don't have any spell slots available. I guess we used them. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we used them all. All right, never mind. Just have you dash over here. Good move. Yes, good attack. My barbarian. Cool, and we can heal. Um, I don't need to heal that badly just yet. I'm only down like one health here, so yeah, just end your turn. That's fine. Bicycle and sword. Finally. Okay. Uh, this guy, yeah. So I want to. I want you to move up here. I don't have advantage on him, do I? So I can't use that, no. But I can use just a regular old range attack. 42% disadvantage, huh? Can I do a regular attack? This is better. Yeah, do this. Try that. Really? Whatever. Finally, it's about freaking time. Okay, can I get into range and actually hit somebody? Okay, yeah, we good. We're good. I don't want to rage too soon because I won't be able to get there and do stuff. Can I cleave? Like, there's only one over here, though. We'll go for this guy, maybe. Go for that guy, yeah. Let's do a regular attack. Oh, there's already one beside me. I'm dumb. And yeah, whatever. Okay, finally my wizard can do something. Like, geez. Um, just do a fire bolt, I guess. This guy's gonna die anyway from being next to my guy. But it's all we have you left to do, I guess, so. Okay, we can do stuff. I mean, it's a bit late to be doing anything besides, like, regular attacks, so. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh my gosh. Let's be on my way. This guy's just taking a beating, man. That poor guy. What should I do? Missed and missed and missed again. Please hit him. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Nice. Morning Sword does good damage for my character, but he's proficient in it, I guess. That's why. And we'll get next to the warg here. Never mind, I got him. He threw a potion at him, I think. What else we have here? Oh, this guy, right. Uh, can I even hit him from here? Probably not. Well, 55%. It's not that bad. Hey, he one-shot him. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate! You know what? Good job, Gale. All right, time to loot stuff. Some of this is stealing. Have to be careful. It has a uh, red icon. This goblin brawler is stealing to take his stuff. Gloves of power, absolute bane on a melee hit, possibly inflict. 1d4 penalty to targets, attack rolls, and saving throws. Sleight of hand plus one. Ooh, cool. So this works for me, yeah. I'll take that for sure. This is stealing. This is fine. Please. At the ready. That's probably a bug that some of the stuff is stealing. Random ladle. You know, who leaves home without a ladle? I mean, really, can you blame him? Broken loot? It's unfortunate. Huh, everyone got a level up except for me. That's weird. Why don't I have a level up? Am I like... How close am I? Oh, I don't have as much... Is that because my intelligence is low? I don't know how that works, but if that's the case, that's really going to make me sad. I'm going to level up slower than everybody else because I'm dumb. But whatever. Shadowheart, let's see what you got. Nice health increase. More spell slots. Trickery domain spells. Mirror image. This was like a mage class spell before... Create three illusory duplicates of yourself that distract attackers. Each duplicate increases your armor class by three for ten turns. That's freaking crazy. This is always prepared as well. That's a really powerful spell. So it's plus three for each. So you get plus nine AC. That's freaking crazy. Do they go away whenever they, they get hit or whenever you get hit or shot at? Passed out a trace, call forth a veil of shadows and silence that gives you and all nearby companions a plus 10 bonus to stealth checks. That's amazing too. So we just get all this stuff normally, yeah? Aid, this is a level 2 spell slot, heals your allies, increases their maximum hit points by 5. That's really good. Blindness, okay, I know that one as well. Ooh, hold person. This is a really good one. Hold person is one of the best crowd controls, at least like in back in Baldur's Gate. It was absolutely nuts. Like, it was so strong. You could just make someone paralyzed and beat the crap out of them. Hold a humanoid enemy still. They can't move, act, or react. Attacks from within three meters are always critical hits. Wow. So we can just do a hold person, and if we get off on that person, then, or a humanoid, I guess, not even a person then we can just beat the crap out of them in melee. It's always a crit. That's insane. Cure creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. That's good, too. Prayer of healing. 5 to 19 healing. Level 2 spell slot. Heal all allies you can see. Only can be used outside of combat. That's really good. So a nice healing spell for everybody. Protection from poison. Touch a creature to neutralize all poisons. Poison was a big thing in Baldur's Gate 1 as well. It was crazy. Silence, a uh, spiritual weapon. Summon a floating spectral weapon that attacks your enemies alongside you. But how long does this last? It's a bonus action. Is it like a one-turn thing? Ward and ally. They gain resistance to all damage and a plus one bonus to their armor class and saving throws until long rest. Cool. 
These are all really good. So we don't have to memorize these or anything, right? Like, no, we do have to memorize them. Okay, so probably can get rid of this and Shield of Faith as well. Prayer of Healing is really good. We're going to keep that in. Um, Hold Person is strong as hell. We're going to definitely have that for sure. Aid's pretty good too. Like this is an AoE heal and it increases our maximum hit points by five. That's really quite good because it's just more hit points for everybody. And in addition to being an AoE heal, it's really, really good. Okay, I'm happy with that then. Cleric is very strong, it seems like. Okay, uh, Gale. Okay, two more spell slots, and we get a level one and a level two spell slot. Or getting two spells, rather. All right, guys, so the two that really stand out to me right now, I mean, they're all really good, like... I could see an argument for going like Conjuration because Cloud of Daggers is a really, really good spell. Like it does four to 16 damage to everything in the area every single round and it lasts 10 turns. Like that's crazy good. Same with this. This is uh, two to 12 damage for 10 turns. And uh, on save, the target still takes half damage. I mean, like that's crazy, crazy good. In fact, this is probably the one I'm going to use. I'm going to take this because you can move the sphere, so you can keep moving it around. The second one I might take is probably the same as um, what our cleric friend has, which is Hold Person, because it's so strong. I mean, this is not an evocation spell, meaning that I cannot prevent my other friendlies from taking, from taking damage from it. But the fact that I can move the sphere around, I feel like that's really powerful. And having two different people that can cast Hold Person... Like, lasting 10 turns of, of having automatic critical hits against somebody if they fail the uh, save, that's insane. Such a good spell. I can see why pe people like wizards so much, because it is, it is really a fun class. It really is. I didn't, I didn't uh, memorize spells. I forgot to change the spells. Whatever. Okay, so we got cantrips and spells. So rogues are, like, casters as well. Because, oh, because he's an arcane trickster. I think I forgot to actually change this, but, I, well, oh no, I can change it now. So we, he gets his subclass now. Do I want another spellcaster? I mean, I kind of do. Like, spells are really strong. But what are the other features? Get additional bonus action and... Okay, I don't know about this. Arcane Trickster seems more more uh, better than that. Assassin. You have advantage on attack rolls against creatures that haven't taken a turn yet. Okay, so like early, but that's not that great. Ambush. No, let's be an Arcane Trickster. Okay, so True Strike is really good. That gives us advantage on your next attack roll, and it lasts for two turns. I want that. That means he can get more of his attacks off more often. And the second one I think I'll take is this Blade Ward. This will make him a bit more tanky if he's in melee. I mean, two turns, and we can just... It's a cantrip, right? So we can keep this up all the time, pretty much. Um, he'll always take half damage from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks. So if he's in melee, he'll be a lot more proficient there. As far as actual spells go, I feel like Sleep and Charm are the most obvious here. I mean, yeah, just more crowd control is going to be great. Expanded. Okay, so now we have, like, this is our actual wizard-type spell. I feel like Magic Missile is just such a really good consistent damage ability. Like, you're pretty much guaranteed to get it off, and it can easily take someone out in, like, the first turn really quickly, like a cleric or something, or some, like a... Someone that's really important to take out, a high priority, low hit point target, is great for taking them out quickly. I think we'll go with that. Can't go wrong with magic missiles, right? Okay, uh, happy with that. And I think we've gotten all the loot around here. I'm assuming we can go inside here, right? They wouldn't leave us outside. Or... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, or would they? 
Emerald Grove. Sounds like a druid haven if I ever heard one. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Yeah, one fight just ended, and now you're picking another? Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. Honestly, he deserves to be punched. This this guy does. He deserves a good smack him, smack in the head. Oh yeah, oh yeah, easy. We got this. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few pack. goblins. We need, we need a healer. Very true. I wish I wish my orc had like a more orkly voice, a more orcish voice, you know? What's next, I wonder? I would like to do Prayer of Healing. Well, do we really need it, though? I mean, it's just, just a Sterion. I wish I had, like, a cantrip-style heal. Uh, whatever. Just keep going. Maybe somebody here will heal us for free. We don't have to use our spell slots. We're obviously supposed to go up that path back there, so I'm going to go the opposite way, which is over here. And see what's up on top of here. Ooh, dead people. Aridin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Wow, we can just... Tell her, screw you, I I want my healing. How much do you want to bet this Halson is the druid who's missing, who is going to heal us, and we have to go and rescue him? But yes, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Hells, I didn't mean it that way. Halson's important, but you're the first bit of good faith we've had since he left. Keep your wits about you. Things are tense with the druids here. One crisis after another. This is all stealing. Okay, let's keep on going then. Cannon? Feel Come like on, we're Arca. being watched. Oh, I'm sorry, Arca. Don't be sorry. Fetch some help. It's too late. He's gone. I mean, this is kind of how I feel. He's dead, stop wasting your time, but, uh... Uh... Yeah. Condolences. Someone's going to pay for this. Arka, no, wait! What are you doing? Lift by someone, she means goblins. I mean, that's probably fine. I take his stuff. Never end. No one's looking. Oh, she's gonna go and kill. They have a goblin captive. Well, hello. Okay, look. I'm gonna say beforehand, but let's see. What can we loot off this guy? What's next? I mean, he's got a longbow. Okay, we don't. Nobody else has a longbow, and I. I think that's probably good for you. Yeah, 
Yeah, using a short bow. Can you use a long bow? Yeah, this is better. Yeah. There you go. Let's move. I mean, look, it's not doing him any good. Best be on my way. Oh, hello. Seems like a good moment to talk. Not now. Please. Okay. Sorry. What is up here? We can go all the way up. Um. Hi. I wasn't expecting battle over here. Maybe just do magic missiles and try to kill this guy right away. Alright. He's surprised. Nice. So we can do something else. Cool. Um... He's an assassin. He's gonna go assassinate this guy unless we can stop him. This would be a good amount of damage. 60% though. Wait, if I do this... Is it- it's more damage. It's a lot more damage, actually. Only 60% though. Whereas... This is like guaranteed. And it's gonna knock them prone if it hits. Nice! He's on his ass. Okay, we saved his life. Nice job. Nice job, everybody. Uh, time to push my luck again. Okay, um, can I actually get to there? Not enough, no, not enough, but I could shoot him. 55% though. I think it's better to get up there. I bet you if I do this, can I literally hit him now? Yeah, I can. I can hit him with my regular attack now. Lols. Death won't take me yet. <laughs> Can I do this on him? 75%? Gotta save against it, but still. Yes, good. Run away. 84%. A level up for my character. Very nice. Ooh, I get a subclass too. And I get two rage charges now. Or maybe more than two per rest. Okay. I don't think I want to be a animal handler wild heart. I want to be a berserker. There's also wild magic, but I have no... I, I read about this a little bit, but I have no idea what it really does. So I'm just going to go with berserker. I want to be a big, strong, smashy, smashy berserker. We get enraged throw, which means we can pick someone or something up and toss it. And if it's a person, they will be prone for one turn. We get frenzied strike. We get an extra melee attack with our equipped weapon as a bonus action, which is great. We also get frenzy, which is a better version of rage in turns. Um, we get frenzied strike and enraged throw, right? Last for 10 turns. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. Let's do it. At least my character's easy. As opposed to the wizard, which is really difficult to uh, figure out what I want to do with them. Poison, Morning Star, Gold. Hello there, Nadira. I need a quick word. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. I can ask for her coin. I don't want to deceive her, though. I don't want to, like, do that. I have been to Avernus, but I am no devil's servant. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? I could intimidate her for the coin. I could try to persuade. I have advantage. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and try this. Plus guidance. Oh, it's only five. I'm just telling the truth after all. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. 
Consider it payment for saving my life. What exactly is this coin? It's a soul wrapped up in a terrible iron package. Don't ask who's because I don't know. I hope it brings you better luck than it has me. Right, we have a bunch of these now. They can power infernal engines. I am assuming that we can use those, like I said, I think last time, we can use those to uh, do something with Larlock, I think is her name. You peer through the telescope. Is that a dragon? Perception. Let's try to... Well, this is the same thing, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's try to get a better view. Ooh. Probably... Oh, we actually got it. Yeah, dragon for sure. Did I get the Yankee Dragon Rider? You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey. Hunting. Let's move to the left so I can make out where it's going to. The telescope points to the left. Thank you, narrator. I'm glad you're here to tell me this. Uh, it's looking at... the crash site? The telescope points straight ahead. We're centered again here. And then go to the right. The telescope points to the right. Where is that? There's like a town over there, but it looks like they're being attacked. There was like sounds like they were being attacked too. Moving in. Uh, more mysteries for later, I guess. Okay, let's go deeper into the camp now. This is the bridge that we were looking at earlier. Yeah. What does this lever do? Probably shouldn't be using strange levers. Is this like a bridge? Is this like extend or something somehow? What are these guys doing down there? Humanoid, human, druid. Yeah, druid, druid trance. Okay. Let's head deeper in, then. This is the guy that was given the other guy hell for bringing the goblins. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Pleased to meet you. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Have there been lots of attacks like that from those goblins? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. And what brought you here? We are refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after gnolls attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. 
Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent? An infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. Right, because tieflings are descended or like they're kind of like the the racial cousin, cousins of devils and people don't trust them. There's a lot of prejudice against tieflings, or at least there was in Neverwinter Nights. Is there a place for tieflings anywhere? Hmm, a fair point. We can only hope the citizens of Baldur's Gate are more open-minded, but we can't get there with those beasts blocking our path. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Well, Gale approved. Asterion was not happy. He's very self-interested, Asterion is. So... No, a traitor? Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Well, what are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Oh, we can sell stuff. Okay, this is going to take a while, guys. I'll uh, see you in a bit. Okay, I think I'm finally done selling stuff. We took most of his gold, although there are these nice gloves of missile snaring. Missile snaring, you intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d10 plus your dex modifier, so it would be like 1d10 plus 2 for me. That's pretty powerful. Uh, this is nice too, though. I'll hold off on that for now. Calm down, Sylvanas. Guide Please. your path. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. This, is no fortress, this grove is kept by Sylvanas's faithful. Could you people stop shouting? We can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Only cowards run from a fight. How dare! Prove him wrong, then, if you think you're able to, that is. Zerk! Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. Oh, I could tell him to leave on his own. Hmm. No. You're doing the right thing. These people need your help. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. 
We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. Hmm... I've heard stories about this Laroakin. Not all of them are good. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Laroakin for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Roland and Laroakin will be known far and wide. You'll see. Okay. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Literally everyone we can talk to. They all have unique dialogue. Go on. Give me a best shot. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Ooh, I can go all half work on him. This is true, but it's way too mean. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. <laughs> You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held... <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes, and you were too. We both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. A devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Theron? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. 
I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Oh, so that's, he's talking about Karlak, who is one of our potential companions, and they're in direct conflict with each other. I'm looking to cure this infection. We should partner up. I also don't know why the uh, shadows are so terrible all of a sudden. I updated Windows, and now it's like this, so I'll see if I can fix that later. Sorry about that. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Okay, so he's back at camp then. I mean, I can't really... I can't really, uh replace anyone right now. I need my rogue to open stuff. I need Gale for his wizarding stuff. I guess I could replace Gale, but he is pretty useful. I definitely need my cleric. So... Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Bad news, children. You're all going to die. Wow. Oh, uh, let's see. Soak the battlefield with blood. Do not resist death, but embrace it. I mean, that is what a half-orc berserker would say. So, sure. Good job. Now they're even more scared. Sorry. I'm a I'm an orc berserker. What could I say? I think you've inspired them enough today. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. Step, parry, strike! Damn it! It's just not. Ah. Sorry, sorry. I, I've never just never seen your your faces. Well, I should I should get back to it. You yelp like a frightened dog because of my face, because I'm a half-orc? No, no, no offense meant. I was just surprised. Concentrating on this blasted target. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. It's barely a sword, really. Can do a half-orc performance. Only seven, not too bad. Like this, you mean? Step, step, strike! Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Keep training. When the time comes, you'll drown this place in goblin blood. Don't let the druids hear you say that. They're itching for an excuse to get rid of us. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Don't shut out your moves. Spells a surprise for your foes. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Hmm, good. Oh, we got a battle axe. Hold. Just a regular old battle axe. Yeah, it's versatile though. What does versatile mean? Can be used with one hand or both. Deals more damage when we with both hands. Interesting, okay. 1d10 or 1d8 plus 3. Okay. Not better than mine for sure. Put that thing on. Sort of inventory. You're wrong. I'm not going to get killed. Not by stupid goblins. Not by anyone. I didn't say you were. I said to soak the battlefield in the blood of your enemies. 
Whatever. Oh, we have a... Uh, oh. Gale has a... He wants to talk to us? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Yeah, you did seem rather interested in meeting this wizard in Baldur's Gate. Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffuse the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. In short, I've grown to trust you. Okay, well, uh, that's good to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Okay, what kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal. But suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. And what happens if you don't consume a magical artifact? I'll spare you the finer details, but it begins with a simple biological deterioration. Muscle spasms, disorientation, a slight ringing in the ears, and, if left for too long, catastrophe. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. This kind of sounds like bullshit. I... I mean, I don't think he's fishing for loot. I think that it's not a matter of him needing these things. It's a matter of him consuming them for personal power instead. Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact... You have one in your possession. Not my sword. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Uh, I I don't want to say yes because I don't know what he wants. I'm happy to help you, but I need to know what I'm losing. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment that need arises. I hope I can count on you. Depends. Uh, is it this? I don't really want to give him this. Okay. 